So you had some Neander thugs that was busted by the feds for selling fentanyl. Now fentanyl is something they've come out with that's 50 times more powerful than heroin. And you have a lot of Caucasians that's really addicted to this stuff and is really killing them off. To the criminal complaint, Halpin told federal agents that for the last three months, he's received weekly deliveries of at least two grams of fentanyl from Canadian suppliers, estimating that he mailed 30 to 35 packages of fentanyl to buyers nationwide. The complaint says the deliveries happened at local post offices, including those in Norwood and Newport. Halpin claimed Bosworth bought and sold the drugs on her computer, packaged them, then gave the packages to him and directed Halpin to post offices where he would mail them. An undercover agent found fentanyl for sale on what's called the dark web, a part of the internet that's not indexed by search engines and requires specific software and approval to access. The complaint says agents bought fentanyl there and determined that it was being sold by Halpin and Bosworth. Fentanyl, which is up to 50 times more powerful than heroin, has taken a deadly toll on drug users in the tri-state, where hundreds of people have died from fentanyl overdoses. In February, DEA agent in charge Tim Reagan told the I-Team that fentanyl cases were a top priority. Today, I'll sit here and tell you, if we can figure out someone who's selling fentanyl or car fentanyl, we'll, we'll take the case no matter how small it is. So, um, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that important to us. According to investigators, Halpin claimed that he and Bosworth used fentanyl and that they lived together. Bosworth started a translation company that's based out of this building in Norwood. Her co-workers and her two attorneys declined to comment on the case. Now, you heard they mentioned the dark web, and on the dark web, they do sell drugs and ammunition and guns and all kind of things on the dark web. Me personally, I watched a lot of videos about it. I've talked to a lot of people about it, but I don't want to do nothing with the dark web because they have a lot of evil on there, child pornography, and I don't want to click one thing and it's something takes me to the wrong place. And no, 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 I'd rather stay away from that sort of mess. The Neander thugs were drug dealers with a business. And you know how they just stop black people, the police, all the time for stupidity? But the FBI had to catch the Neander thugs for selling fentanyl. Now, fentanyl is something that's just tearing the Caucasian community up. Because you remember when they put the drugs in the black community and how we got addicted to crack cocaine and how they locked us up. Now it's turned around. And this thing is worse than crack cocaine because crackheads wasn't dying like that at all. Somebody can get off a of crack and you see them about three or four months later, then they got all their weight back. They look normal. They okay. But this stuff here, just tearing them up. Crystal meth. They love that meth too. They can't stay off of that meth. They dying so much. They having to bring in extra refrigerated trucks to house the bodies. It's how much they're addicted to it. I saw one special a female was saying that they have to use it every day. They have to. Or are they going to go through bad withdrawals if they don't have it? So that's bad that every day you got to have a hit of this drug. Not every other day, every day. But instead of worrying about their own community with fentanyl, heroin, crystal meth, they rather worry about us all day, what we got going on. And that's going to be the problem. While you trying to wage war against us, your community is eroding away, which you should be paying attention to your own. When you bring in an extra refrigerated trucks to house bodies, I think Trump and the Republicans need to solve the problems in their own community and stop dealing with other people. I'm just saying, but you know how these people are, they have so much pride and they don't think that they have any problems. That's going to end up being their downfall. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these Neander thugs and what they were doing and how they basically killing off their own community. Share the video, like the commentary and subscribe to my news story.